Hello everybody, welcome back from spring break. Hope you had a great time. Um, I don't know if you know, but it is National Robotics Week. What a coincidence, us coming back on Ra National Robotics Week. So we've been doing a lot of stuff that has been very building heavy, and you kind of know me, I go back and forth between the building, the coding, and all of that. And so because it's Robotics Week, and because you're all at home, I think it just makes sense to try and do some stuff with robots. Now, you don't have robots at home, and I know that makes you really sad, but during the spring break, we all got an amazing gift because the folks at VEX released an amazing new tool that I'm really excited about because even though you are at home, you can still play around with robots. So they released something called VEX Code VR. Uh, which I had at the beginning of this video and I didn't plan on it, but oh well, whatever, deal with it. Um, oh, I forgot to turn on my little light. Stand by. Here we go. There we go. Okay, great. Uh, so, anyways, VexCode VR. As it says on the webpage, it says, Learn computer science at home without a robot. It is a simulator that will let you program a robot virtually to do a whole bunch of things. And as you can see here, they have uh, set you up. They've made this simulated robot there. They've given the, the reasons why this matters, the computer science standards, whatever. We're not going to worry about that too much right now because you're going to get those things. Um, it runs right in the browser. You don't have to install anything. So anyways, this is sounding way too much like a commercial. Uh, I don't mean it to, but I am really excited about this. So um, your task today and also on uh, Thursday is to play around with this. Um, I'm going to give you some suggested activities, some things that you can try out, but as with so many things that I've had you do this entire year, um, the question that I want you to have in the back of your mind is, how do we play with this? What can we do with this? How do we make this into something cool? So uh, I'm going to show you a little bit about how it works. This is the screen for VEX Code VR. Let me see if I can make things a little bit bigger. Ah, there we go. Very nice. Um, so you have lots of different blocks available to you and um, for right now everything is programming in blocks. So if you remember Scratch, if you've ever used Scratch, it's uh, very similar. Some of you use this for some of the uh, make code tasks and the micro bit tasks that we did earlier in the year. So this will all look really familiar. Um, I haven't played too much with it so I'm going to uh, do some live VEX VR coding and just kind of see how it goes and then set you off um, undoubtedly to do much cooler things than uh, I can think to do this afternoon. So um, I'm going to drag some drops, drag, drag some drops, Ooh, drag some blocks in. So um, I'm going to drive forward for 200 millimeters. Um, let's try, uh, I think I know what I want to do. So um, I'm going to do something a little bit funny. You may be able to figure out what I'm doing after a little bit. Um, so drive forward for 200 millimeters, turn 72 degrees, and then um, I want to repeat that. So let me see if I can just duplicate. Oh, there we go. Duplicate again. So three times, and it's turning 72 degrees. Let's duplicate one more time. There we go. So that's one, two, three, four, and let's do one more of those as well. And let me see what this, oh, and don't wait. So I'm not, I'm not actually sure what that does, but we'll, we'll see in a minute. So uh, there's my coding. Um, and what's really neat, I need to shrink this back down, I think, is you get a virtual environment where you can test your code. So let's, let's, Test it out. Let's see what happens. Um, so let's look at this first, the POV view, and see what that looks like. So we start, we drive, turn 72 degrees, it drives. Huh. So I guess what this means is that this this rotation is basically like a like a compass direction. So it's driving 200 millimeters. It says I'm already at a a a heading of 72 degrees. It's a little bit strange, huh? Oh well. Well, anyways, um, you can kind of see what I'm going for. I wonder. Let me let me try this. Let me so let me shift this and 
double it to 144 and see if that does something different. Um, and this time we'll do the overhead view so you can kind of see what it looks like from there. So it's reload from the beginning and uh, look from overhead and drive. So there it goes, 200 millimeters, turns 72 degrees. Okay, so um, it's definitely using this rotation like a heading. And so uh, what I thought it was going to do was if I am here and I say turn 72 degrees, I'm going to turn 72 degrees like that. If I then say drive and then turn 72 degrees, it's going to be the same thing. And then I'm going to turn 72 degrees from there. But that's not what this is doing. This is being used as like a compass heading. Instead, driving 200 millimeters, turning 72 degrees, drive 200 millimeters, and then it says I'm already at 72 degrees, so I don't need to turn anymore. So I guess I would have to continue uh, changing this number. So 72, 144, 216. I don't know. Let's, uh, let's try resetting that and see if this continues to do what I think it's going to do. There it goes. A turn there. There it goes. And a turn. Great. And it hits the wall. So has some fun there. Anyways. Um, uh, uh, I want you to play with this. If you go to the VexCode VR, you will see that um, if you click on activities, there are some activities on this page, and this is linked on PowerSchool Learning. You can check it out. Um, I'd like you to choose something that interests you based on everything you see here. Choose one of these tasks, um, complete it, and then make it your own. And then you're going to post a video of what you accomplish on the new Flipgrid topic so that we can all see uh, what you've been able, to, uh, been able to do. So play around with that today. Post your video showing what you um, are able to do um, on Flipgrid. And on, uh, in the next class, we'll all uh, share those with each other. And um, I'll tell you what I want you to do next. Until then, uh, have a great day.